Hi guys, it's Daggy from Kitty Clayton and today we're going to do an investigation with Lego bricks. This should help with our number bonds to 5 and 10. I hope you have fun with learning with me. How many Lego bricks have you got? Five. Okay, what I want you to do is find out how many ways you can split them into two groups. Um, so split them up into two groups. How many are in that group? Three and two. And how many all together? Five. So three and two together are? Five. Five. Can you make any different size groups? Try moving some bricks to a different group. Oh, now what have you got? Four in this group, one in this group. And how many do you have all together? Five. Five still, because you haven't changed, have you? You've just moved them. Can you find any other different groups? What have you got now? Five and none. Five and none. Good job. What if you just move one across to the other group? It would be four in this group, five in this group. Four and... One. Four and one. Make five. Good. What if you move one more across? Now what have you got? Three and two. Three and two. Now what have we been doing each time? Moving... One. So move one across again. And now what have you got? It would be two in this group and three in this group. Good. So can you move another one across? So what have you got now in your groups? One and four. Okay, and now what do you need to do? That's it. What have you got now in your groups? None and five. Can you move any more across from that group? No. Why not? Because we did it all like that, and then all like that, and then all like that. There's not any more left to move over. Good, because we moved all five, didn't we? Good, so that's all the groups now, because we started with five on that side and moved them all across one at a time, didn't we? Yeah. So now we're going to do the same thing, but... We've got this so that we can keep a record of it. So, Dougie, yeah? when you do an investigation, you're supposed to keep a record of what you do. Uh, do you know what that means? No. That means you write down or draw pictures of what you're doing. We're going to make our groups again. Can you remember what groups we started with last time? Um, zero. Yep, zero and... Five. So, we we'll start with zero and five. And then we're going to put paint on our Lego bricks and print it onto the paper. We're going to keep a record in each of these rows. So here's our first groups in this row here. And then we do our next groups in that row and our next groups in that row. Okay? And then our next groups in that row. Yep. Yeah. So we're going to start up here. And what sign is this? Add. Can you put those five Lego bricks on the top row but split them into two groups? What two groups are you going to do? Okay, so what have you split them into there? Three on this side, two on this side. Okay, good. Can you remember though, in our investigation, how we started to make sure that we did them all? Um, five and zero. Yeah, and then we just moved one across each time, didn't we? So can you start... And another five on the different side. That's right, yeah. So can you start now? With five and zero again. Hit the first one. One on this side. Okay, so how many are there now? Four on this side, one on this side. Should we print that on the next row then, like you've done it there? Okay, Dougie, so we've lined them up the same as the previous row, and what do we need to do to make it a bit different? Just put some on different sides. Yeah, so how many are you going to move across? Um. Okay, what's the groups now? Three and two. 
And how many all together? Five. So that's the same as the last row, isn't it? Yeah. So what do you need to do? You move one over. Good. And then there will be three in this side and two in this side. Good job. Okay, let's print them. Good job! Can you go through, start at the row nearer, nearest to you and tell us how many are in each side? Four, five and none. And the five at none at the top. That's really good. So what, what, what do you mean about the top and the bottom then? There's five on this side and zero on this side, but zero is on this side and the top is on zero on that side. That's right, but what do they both add up to? Five. Five. So five and zero or zero and five. Are there any other rows like that? This group has four and one and this group has one and four. So one and four, or four and one, what do they both make? Five. Five. In this row there is three and two, and in this row there's two and three. And what do they both make? Five. Yeah, good. So it doesn't matter if you do three or two, or two and three, it's the same, isn't it? Yeah. Good job. We're going to do a similar thing to what we did before, but this time we're starting with more. So before, how many Lego bricks did we have? Five. Five. So can you count how many green bottles we've got? Ten. You already counted them, did you? I knew it was ten from the sun. Okay. So in this first orange bit here, look, here, here in the top bit, you need to write how many green bottles are on the wall. And here, you need to write how many are on the floor. So how many are on the wall? You write that there. Ten. Ten, so can you write a ten in that bit there? Okay, and how many are on the floor? Zero. Okay, so can you write a zero here? Good job. All right, Dougie. Yeah? Can you make that bottle on the end fall off the wall? <laughs> okay, so now how many are left on the wall? Nine. Okay, can you write a nine on the next orange square at the top? Because that's on the top of the wall is nine. That's it. And how many are on the floor? One. Okay, so write a one underneath the nine. So how many is that all together? Nine, nine and, and one. Make ten. Because there's still ten bottles, isn't there? One of them just fell off, but there's still ten. Yeah. Can you make another one fall off? So how many green bottles are left on the wall? Eight. Okay, can you write an eight in the orange bit next to the nine then? Okay, Dougie, how many are on the floor? Two. Okay, write a two underneath the eight. All right, Dougie, so how many? Eight. Two. Eight and two, and how many all together? Ten. Ten, there's still ten, isn't there? But just two fell off. Yep, so eight and two make? Ten. Okay, Dougie, how many green bottles are left on the wall? Seven. Good job. And how many are on the floor? Three. Okay, write a three underneath the seven. How many are left on the wall? Six. Okay, Dougie, how many are on the floor? Four. Six. Four. Make ten. How many are left on the wall? Five. How many are on the floor, Dougie? Five. Five. Five there, five on there. And how many all together? One. We don't need to count them because we know how many green bottles we've got, don't we? Yeah. How many? Five. How many in total? Um, how many? Ten. Ten. It's still ten, isn't it? We haven't got rid of any. 
Penny, we'd just knock them off onto the floor. Five, five. Make ten. Good job. <laughs> All right, Dougie, how many bottles are left on the wall? One, two, three, four. And how many green bottles have fallen off onto the floor? Six. It's already been that like there. That's right. So four and six and six and four both make ten. Um, three. And how many on the bottom of the wall? Seven. And how many all together? Ten. So three and seven make ten. Can you see any other ones that look a bit like three and seven? Seven and three. Seven and three, or three and seven. Good job. How many on the wall? Two. Without counting the bottles, can you find a two somewhere else on here and see what goes with the two? What goes with a two? There's a note there then. Yeah. Is that right? Count the bottles and check. Eight. Eight. Good job. Eight. How many left on the wall? One. And how many are on the floor, do you think? No, I can wait to nine. How many are left on the wall? None. Right, a zero then. How many does that mean must be on the floor? Because how many have we got? Ten on the floor. Right, a ten then. Okay. So zero and ten is the same as... Ten and zero. Well done. Right, Dougie, you know what to do? Knock another bottle off the wall? There's no more on the wall. So you can't do any more groups. So we've done it all. This was a great fun way to learn number bombs. It gives you a nice material to put on your threads. I hope you had fun watching this video. If you like it, please subscribe. See you for more learning soon. Ten green bottles sitting on the wall. Ten green bottles sitting on the wall. If one fell off, there would be nine. And there would be one on the floor because nine, nine and one makes ten. Last number bond.